For those who don't know what's going on, this is part two to the question. John o. McLean, how did you become who you are? How did you become who you are? Greetings, Mr. Lonzo. I went to your site and I am assuming that you, <coughs> you are a very wise individual and you speak a lot of positives about a lot of negative things in this world such as power, racism, classism, censorship, and current events. I felt prompted to message you because of your ability to remain positive in the face of all things green and negative and the question I want to ask you is how, how did you arrive at the level of being centered and positive who wants to influence positive change as opposed to being <laughs> someone negative without making this message too long and I can't hide forever the reason I ask you this is because I am How going through a transition that? phase in life um, but I am striving to become a positive human being from 1997 mm -hmm. to now I have been so negative I literally cannot mm -hmm. sleep at night without medication now so my major question is how did you get where you are today it is much easier oh, yeah, to be bad than right. it is to be uh, good see these you videos, took the hard man, they spawn shows from they spawn from the situation and um right now matter of fact I'm going to interview you. Hold on. <laughs> Are you still there, man? I'm still here. Now, hopefully they can hear you on this. Now, somebody just asked me a question on the YouTube, what makes me who I am? And then you called me and asked me if I'm all right after those couple of videos. So, um, right. hey, we got about eight minutes to left on this, on this video. You down? So go ahead and ask me a couple questions, and then... Then we'll get back to our phone conversation. Okay, uh, yeah, man, I, uh, like I said, I don't know how to roll. I'm just checking on you, and, uh, I, um, right, man, I'm just calling to see how you're doing. Um, you know, I, I see how the, um, the situation with the police was, um, getting to a lot of people, and, you know, people, um, didn't understand your videos that it kind of got to you, so I just think I'd give you a call, man. Well, it's like this. It's like when you try to say something positive about a situation like that. Come on, man. There's not really much positive you can say about you know a man getting shot down while his hand his handcuffs behind his back. Um, right. You know when they're breaking it down on TV. You know they're showing that the officer had his taser out earlier, and then you know, and when he reached for the gun, he just reached for the gun and fired it. So. You know, these people look at the video, and I'm telling people, like you said on, like you said on the reply, martial law ain't no joke. And you know just as well as I do, they put the dogs on people, they put the water hoses on people, and now in 2009, they're not gonna give a damn if you black, if you white or Mexican. You in the street protesting, that's illegal. It's going to be illegal because you ain't got no permit to do it. They have excuses for this shit now. And now, you run out in the street and you want to throw a rock at a police car, it ain't like it used to be. You throw a rock at a police car, they're going to get out and unload on your ass. They don't pull, they don't play that Gaza Strip shit here in California. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and these young kids now, they live, they're living through our mistakes. And they enjoying shit. They enjoying it. You know, they jump up and down, they ready to ride, but you know just well as I do. In nineteen sixty two, if somebody if a cop would have shot a person down like that in nineteen sixty two, it would have been all out riots. Not next week, not a month later. It would have been instantaneous from that spot. Them people the cops would have been overwhelmed in that spot. And then it would have been on the news. So, for these people who want to rally all after the fact, it's a done deal. The young man died for nothing. This other man's life is completely ruined for life. Now, if he did it on purpose, fine. He's going to get what he's going to get. But if he did that on accident, this man's life is done. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. They should, you, I mean, you're right. It should be done to the, the court. I mean, um... Uh... These people aren't going to remember this guy's name in 14 months, you know. Uh, it, it, everybody's just looking for another Rodney King, another excuse to, uh, you know, and they pull out a race car and, you know. Mm -hmm. Man, it's, um, like I said, martial law is no joke because um, if the military 
military gets involved, you have no more right. It's just, um, yeah. they, they shoot first. Yeah, it's like, it's get your ass off the street. It's 530, and you ain't got no job. You shouldn't be outside. Go in the house. We come back around the block. You're locking you up. And if you run, we're going to shoot you. Period. That's it. And it, it's not like, it's, it, if it jumps off in America, it'll be just like in Iraq. But the difference is, in Iraq, you have people fighting back. Here, people won't fight back. They'll be taking it. They will be taking it hard. We don't have guns like they do overseas. We don't do that shit. So we won't be prepared for it or ready for it. Because mentally, there's no reason for it. Physically, there's no reason for it. The man fucked up and, and shot somebody. That shit happens every fucking day. The vice president shot a man in the fucking head while they was hunting. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, when, when you have um, a right to bear arms in the Constitution, mm -hmm. I mean, and um, you know who's uh, supplying guns in the inner city, I mean, shoot, you know, it's going to happen. Yeah, and there's this big old thing right now. The police are out looking for guns that people were stealing out of police cars. Come on, man. <laughs> so, they're already in mode. See, the United States military, a friend of mine told me the other day, and I shit you not, his uncle, his cousin, and a couple of friends all in the military, right? They're being stationed in America. They're being pulled out of Iraq and Afghanistan overseas. They're stationing them here for when the economy collapsed. How are you going to ask a bunch of American soldiers to shoot up a bunch of Americans? They, they, uh, I think it's self-made. I think it's man-made anarchy. I mean, this is corp corporate anarchy. Um, and me and this guy was having a conversation, right? Here's the funny part about it. How many Americans are there in America? He said around 60 billion, right? So if there's 60 billion Americans, they just gave the financial industry 750 fucking billion dollars. How you gonna give the people causing the problem? They could have gave every American a billion dollars. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, I saw your video. Yeah, I saw your video on that. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, that stimulus plan that you proposed was pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> my stimulus plan is too good. If you gave every American three hundred fifty thousand dollars, hey, I guess my numbers was too low, huh? After a man told me it was only sixty billion of us, I was really stupid with my numbers, wasn't I? <laughs> Shit. He said there's only 60 million. Mm. He says there's 60 there's billion. There's 300 million, and the 300 million that um that are accounted for is probably 320 million for all the illegal aliens and everything. All I know is he said there's billions of people in America. I don't I don't care. If, if, it's, if it's only 300 and million of us. They still gave the wrong people too much money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, parties and expensive, you know, you know, little get-togethers and you know, this shit's getting out of control, man. Huh? You know, like, um, the hell out of contagious, man. Huh? You know, the, the scary part about it is that this man has worked at a good job and his job was good, and he was there. They call everybody in told him we let off 20% of the workforce thank you dismissed Damn. that's fucked up you know people are losing jobs that remember when Bill Clinton was in office they was making fun that oh, Bill, Cl Bill Clinton those jobs Bill Clinton are created are low paying jobs bring them back if Bill Clinton only created low paying jobs bring the motherfuckers back I'm sorry bring them back I'll take a low-paying job right now. <laughs> okay, hook me up with one. <laughs> Shit. It's, it's pitiful. It's pitiful. We can't start over from the beginning, and they're trying to force everybody to start over from the beginning. And that's how it is. You can't start over from the beginning. Every time you get a job, you can't start over at $8.75 an hour. No, no, you can't go back. 
You can't go back. 